for me it's very exciting. I've worked on a lot of shows in this museum. You know, I would say that arguably this has the most impressive group of lions. So this exhibition, uh, Millet and Modern Art, uh, from Van Gogh to Dali, it's actually been in the works for about 10 years. It's a partnership with the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. And this show argues for a new narrative, a new history uh, for modern art that originates in the work of the French painter Jean-Francois Millet. Millet is an artist maybe not so well known today, but in the 19th century was arguably the best known modern painter. We wanted to rediscover the original importance and radicalism of Millet's work and look at the legacy, the range of artists who were influenced by him. In this exhibition, we're thinking about modern art in two principal ways. The first is formally. How was Millet's work innovative formally? Even though his work is grounded in naturalism, it was seen often in terms of abstraction and the way in which he's reducing forms often to a sense of two-dimensional abstraction. And I think the second important modern aspect of his work is his subject matter. You know, he's representing a modern rural life and his work has a strong kind of political dimension to it. So he's representing marginalized, often oppressed rural workers, figures who hadn't traditionally been represented in art and giving them a real sense of monumentality and dignity. So that kind of political dimension was one that other artists you know, later in the century had actually tapped into and admired. In this show, you'll see an international narrative, a whole range of artists coming out of Millet's work from Camille Pizarro, the French artist, to the Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh, through to Paul Amorazon Becker, an important German expressionist, Winslow Homer, Millet's influence in America was very significant. A lot of the artists who are responding to Millet's work, they're not always seeing the actual paintings, you know, there's an important story here about the dissemination of Millet's work through prints and photographs. So often they're responding to those. In composition, there's often a very direct response and interpretation. In the case of Van Gogh, for example, he talked about translating Millet's prints into colour. We have Van Gogh's Starry Night from the Musée d'Orsay, which is, you know, an amazing loan and is an you know, iconic painting. Van Gogh wrote about that one more in his correspondence and the, the painting at MoMA. And he exhibited that one also in his lifetime, which he didn't with the MoMA work. And we have it next to a Millet Starry Night, which makes a really kind of nice juxtaposition. And then at the end of the show, I think people will be uh, interested and maybe a bit surprised to see a group of Dali's works. Salvador Dali was actually obsessed by Millet's painting The Angelus and produced a whole body of work inspired by that one painting. And he gives it his own very kind of quirky, sort of psychosexual reading. It's just great to see all these paintings from around the world coming together and seeing the kind of conversations that we're starting and, and hopefully you know, getting people to think about what modern art means and think about a new narrative in which Millet has a seminal place. <laughs>